Hey guys, it's me, Mon Cordell Info TV. Because of the big similarities of the Igolot people of the Philippines, situated in the northern part of the Philippines, and the Naga people, situated in Asia and Myanmar, uh, we thought at first glance as Igolot when we saw pictures of Naga people, videos of Naga people, uh, traditions of Naga people, we thought it belongs to the Igolot people. But unfortunately, we made a mistake because it belongs to the Naga people. Now, uh, we're going to present in this video some pictures, videos, traditions of both tribes from uh, Naga people and Igor people and it's trying to distinguish if we could be able to distinguish right away if what particular tribe they belong to. So, let's start in. <laughs> When I first watched and listened to both singers, I thought in my mind they belong to Igor country singers here in the Philippines. But again, I made a mistake because singer B belongs to the Naga people. Uh, in my first hearing, in my thought, their vocal range, their vocal chord uh, are in the same level. I could sense the similarities that I usually hear those boys uh, commonly here in the Philippines. That's why I thought they belong to the same group of people. But that's what the irony is. Uh, because of the big similarities of Naga people and Igor people, even the voice, uh, we thought they are the same. But in fact, it's not. Also, it's quite wondering why the Naga people and the Igor people love country music when uh, it was introduced by the missionaries in the Philippines. And when it was introduced by the missionaries in uh, Nagaland. Uh, I don't know why they appreciate the country sounds so much and they blend it in the culture, in their way of music and they made it, they nailed it and they make songs out of country music uh, giving giving it their emotions and giving it their own languages. Could you recognize the status which tribe it belongs to? Could you recognize the tattoos of these pictures? Honestly, at my first glance at those tattoos, I thought it belongs to the Igorot tattoos uh, from the old pictures that I've seen in uh, libraries and museums in Bontoc. The patterns and the color of the ink and where they put it in the body, hands, chest. Uh, it seems to me that it belongs to the Igorot tattoos. But unfortunately, I made a mistake. Tattoo 1, 2, 3, 4 belongs to the Naga people and the rest of the tattoo belongs to the Igorot people. How irony that even in their tattooing, they resemble similarities. For the Igorot people, tattooing in the old days is a symbol of wealth, leadership, and status in life. Which hate hunters belongs to the Philippines? Among the hate hunters of Asia, the most common tribe well known for this practice are the Naga people and the Igor people of the Philippines. Why they are doing it? It's a form of identity and empowerment to demoralize the enemies. And also it's a kind of preparation to empower the youths 
young men and men of the tribes to continue to preserve and protect their own people. Commonly, they take the heads as a trophy and display it in their own houses as a sign of degree of social status and even leadership. Kind of irony that from seeing they have big similarities and even to a point of acquiring a degree of social status, they have the same ways and ideas in doing it. However, in the coming of Christianity, both for Nagaland people and the Agro people, many of the people of the tribe accepted Christ as their personal Lord and Savior, and slowly the practice of heat hunting was stopped. Could you recognize this food and recipes? I thought it only unique in the Philippines, but I was mistaken. Is it a coincidence for the Naga people and the Agro people love smoked meat and salted dried meat and even blood sauces? This particular dish is commonly known in both tribes. This kind of knowledge in preserving our food is extraordinary that both Naga people and Agro people strengthen their similarity and connectivity. Hmm, I'm confused. Could you recognize the weaving pattern of Naga people and the weaving pattern of Agro people? Obviously, the weaving cloth of the Naga people and the weaving cloth of the Igor people has big similarities when it comes to colors, though the shapes and icon patterns have differences, but the general aura, the general presentations of the cloth has big similarities in both sides. It does seems that our taste of color has in the same pattern, in the same wave line. That's why, for me, uh, even in cloth designs, even in cloth colors, we have so much of similarities. Air piercing is very iconic to the Agor people, so as to the Naga people. That's why the Agor people even put the lyrics in their songs to recognize that air piercing is very important or common thing that they are doing in the old days. Air piercing for the Igor people is somehow a sign of courage and bravery and even status in the community and perhaps an adornment of beauty. For the Naga people, air piercing is very important for them because it is included as their identity and uniqueness. Could you recognize these necklace patterns adorned on your body? Can't take off my eyes on them because both the Naga people and the Agro people wearing the necklace that they made it's so beautiful for them. It's a kind of different icons, different shapes, but the aura and the resemblance is quite obvious. Long before we noticed our elders that they're wearing necklaces out of bones, out of teeth, and out of icons that they made, and they put it as necklace. Nowadays, they are making it with uh, beads, clocks, and weaving clocks as a necklace. And it's so beautiful for both tribes when they are wearing this kind of adornment on their body. From necklace pattern, how about the headband patterns of both tribes?
How about the headband? Could you recognize the Igorot headbands? For me, there is one thing that i pretty sure I could recognize the headbands of the Igorot. When they are using the snake bones as a headband. But if they use woven cloth or design cloth and beads as headbands, it's a little bit difficult for me to recognize it. Finally, could you recognize the ladies which tribe they belong to? Even myself kindly hardly hard enough to recognize the beauties of Igorots and the beauties of Nagaland. In fact, for me, it seems to me that they came from the same ancestors, the same bloodline. That's why they resemble so much. I know for the fact that their physical appearance has so much of the physical appearance of the Igorot people. And the physical appearance of the Igorot people has so much of the physical appearance of the Naga people. Why this so? According to research and some Igorot people and some Naga people who tried the DNA testing, they found out that they belong to a major genes or they found out that they belong to a major DNA of which it belongs to a Mongolian blood mixed with different blood in the Southeast Asia and the East Asia. Here in the Philippines, if you are an Igorot, even if you mix up with different uh, people, you could easily recognize your fellow Igorots based on their physical appearance, based on their color, and based on their uh, structure. And that makes an agro very unique because uh, we could recognize them. But when I saw the beauties of the Naga people, it seems to me that we have so much resemblance on them. Pictures with numbers belong to the Naga people, and pictures without numbers belong to the Igorot people.